Hola, ¿qué tal? Me llamo Nastya. How are you guys? My name is Nastya, and I hope you are doing well. At first, I'd like to ask you a question. Who are you? Simple question, yep. And can you give me an answer? Sure, you may say, I'm a human being. But if each of us says it, will this a human being be a personality? Anywhere, anytime, you can hear just be you from other people. But I stand there and think, what does it mean to be me? Let's look at the beginning of our life. Mom always told me I was like no one else, but was she right? From our childhood, we're trying to be similar to people who we love. We don't even try to be like that people. We try to be that people. With a gleam in our eyes, we are staring at them coming in our lives, staying there for some time, biting us to themselves, teaching us how to behave like them. And we learn it, because we want to do this. There can be many such people throughout our life. And I ready to see the most common example. Imagine, you are six years old. Your mom is your idol. You always looked at her actions, reactions on somebody's actions, and you liked it. At one moment you start copying her and you can do it for years. That's why you copied her until now. And here you stand in front of your mom. So when you look in her eyes, what do you see? You'll tell me, I see myself. So, can you say that your mom is a mirror in which you can see yourself? Actually, humanity recognizes itself in a comparison each person to other people. We look at them like in a mirror where we can see our reflection. Copy them because we need the answer to the question who we really are. We don't know what we can do to become ourselves because we just pretend of being others. And aware of who we are, we're looking for the answer to the question in the reactions and intentions by the people and their opinion about us. And then, due to other people saying, we learn how to be like this or to be like that. For example, a child is told that she is a girl. She begins to look at other girls and takes on their girlhood. I'm the same girl as Amy, Betty, Cindy, so I also like playing dolls. And then she comes to other girls and says, I'm such a girl like you, and tries to understand the reaction, whether they believe in her girlhood, don't they? Again, as for me, my mom was my first idol I faced. She's an interesting person, and I do love the way she behaves, whom she works, how she looks like. And I had much more reasons to make her my idol. My second example of becoming someone else is the mentor I met when I was a teen. He was not a really famous celebrity, just a boy. But I looked at him and I wanted to behave like him. Because even now he behaves confident and calmly and I totally meet these features of his character. So I try to feel the missing parts of myself by his impact. I tried to copy his behavior because I wanted to fill these gaps. How can we know who we are till we try to do anything? Are we still we when we do what we haven't done before? We're staying ourselves. Or what happens? Are you sure you know what you like if you haven't tried? Let's listen to my friend's story. The girl, my friend, got to the disco for the first time. It was an ordinary disco, music, dancing, some contests were held, and she was likely to win in one of them. A prize was to choose the next song. She was confused, and at that moment, a lot of thoughts were spinning in her head. Which song should I choose? I don't know songs which are good for the disco. I know songs which I like and listen to. She didn't know songs which teens listen to on disco parties, and at the same time, 
She was afraid of not becoming classy and losing her face. I actually can't remember which song it was, and it doesn't even matter. It was an experiment for her to choose the song and to go to the disco. She didn't look at other people there and chose by herself. Both then and now, she understand that not every person liked the song she chose. Someday we realize that we can't pretend being somebody else and be respected by other people. We understand that, that we can't be any person we have ever met. We continue to look at those reflections and one day we wonder, what are we like in ourselves? And from that time we get lost in all the items to be us. And again, who we are, in fact, now. Real me or not, i.e. am I as I am or not as I am now. When a person begins to fixate strongly on the question of being yourself, he or she can go blank from every little thing, painfully trying to make that one choice. But not in any case not to do like anyone. But at the same time, that person absolutely doesn't know what he or she wants to choose. The person doesn't know himself or herself. For example, Nastya, who decided to be herself, whatever it takes, have come there in a cafe with her friends, can hang near a cake, a win a cake window for half an hour, because she doubts whether to buy a chocolate cake, Mmm, but Amy bought the same one. Maybe I just repeat after Amy? Either a lemon one. I don't seem to like lemon. Or a like. Or a low calorie dessert. Ah, uh, it's certainly not my wish. Just a fashion to lose weight. Or. I still want to lose weight and is it my choice to eat healthy food? And the main question is, who is Nastya and which cups does she really like? Maybe she needs to experiment with tastes? So are we still as we are when we experiment? Sure, take out this deal, we stay ourselves always while experimenting. Anytime something happens in our life, we recognize ourselves a little bit more. But how to get to know yourself? What does it mean to meet a person like you? Who is this person? What kind of person should he or she be? We're actually trying to find ourselves out copying somebody. From our childhood, we don't know who we are and search for ourselves by this way. Just try on another image in an atom to be somebody else. But we can't become that person at all, right? Let's take an example of a celebrity. Madonna, may it be. You like her and copy her songs, voice, dress like she wears. You're just trying to be equal to her. But at the same time, you can't get it all because you have other habits, behavior, facial features, and even plastic surgery can't help you to get her appearance. You will always be yourself, no matter how many personalities you try to be. But if you like singing, why can't you try to copy a person who sings better than you do? It will just teach you. You're experimenting not for the sake of showing that you are cool, but for the sake of understanding what you like and what do not. Let's imagine, somebody comes to you and asks about the language you like. Hey dude, which language do you prefer to speak at? And really, which language do you prefer? Ukrainska, Ruski, Espanol, Deutsch, English. Answer. Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried to speak other languages. Never gonna know if you never even try. Without listening to the sensations, no matter how trendy, 
you won't find the answer to this issue. Try. Be yourself. Experiment with everything you want, too. But does this all mean that you must always be yourself? For you to know, to be yourself means to be honest with you. And if your favorite clothes are hoodies, jeans, sneakers, you won't go to a job interview in this, right? By the way, to be yourself also means to be flexible and to adapt to any situation, whatever it may be. You honestly say to you, I like these clothes. But you understand that even if in these clothes you are the real you, you mustn't be like this every time. In this case, this is not a violation of your interests. You just show respect to a company in which you want to work. I can say, even to go somewhere in other clothes, it's an experiment. What if you like it? And in the end of my speech, let's back to the main. Who are you? How to find yourself? How to understand your feelings? You mustn't lose your personality for other people. In order to not to get lost in your life, I want to give you some pieces of advice based on my life experience. You have to listen to your inner world, but you must listen to adults who can teach you with the help of the results of their life mistakes based on their life experience. But I didn't say that you need to listen to that point of view at all. Just keep in mind, we all are changing every five years and meet the new self. This new personality consists of a new worldview, new habits, modified opinion, etc. It's okay. We need to develop, find out something new. Throughout our life, we discover ourselves and mustn't deprive ourselves of the joys of life, meeting different people, be afraid of something new. Finally, you will understand what is comfortable for you. Don't be afraid of trying something new. Because being yourself means life-length experiment. Thank you so much for your attention.